Welcome back, my beautiful lovers, dreamers, and creators. Let's create some poly gel spray painted Valentine's Day madness. I already laid my full set and I use poly gel and right now I'm going in with more poly gel to create like a a different type of airbrush effect because you can do this with acrylic poly gel or whatever you like there's different methods if you don't have an airbrush machine I do have an airbrush machine if you haven't seen from my other videos so I'm gonna do that method as well the goal in our universe over here is to have fun with it I keep my brush down and I'm using slip solution. I don't try to talk you guys heads off, but I do want to add the pointers and certain comments here and there. Another goal is to help and share as much as I can. The nail world shares so much with me, so I like to give back. And I'm not showing a great example at the moment, but keep your brush clean. Wipe it off when you need to. I will be going in with a few random colors that I love and these are glow in the dark colors by the way and if you could pay attention to this part I'm making it as flat as possible to give it that fade effect that you can get with an airbrush machine because like I said you can do this with poly gel acrylic or a machine and I try not to waste product but don't be afraid to take some off if you put too much on there if you find that you love these colors I'm using, like I said, they glow in the dark as well, then check my video where I did a review on the Savvy Land Poly Gel Glow in the Dark Colors. It was a kit and I'm in love with it. I'm glad I got it. While doing my best to demonstrate, once your product is like too sticky, that's how you know you need to re-wet your brush. Some of the color I will lose after filing and buffing because I will not, I repeat, I will not be capping this with any clear. I don't want to because you see the result, the finished result already. That's what I was going for, a really light look. And hands down, it's not glow in the dark. That's the only thing that would make it like the best in the world. But I'm using McCart Siesta Nude for my base. None of the methods that I'm doing are like brand new to the universe, but I wanted to do something that was unique and brand new to a Valentine feel. And I'm like, you don't usually see green hearts with like comic book type feel and airbrush mixed with poly gel. So I just wanted to go crazy. And like I said, have fun. Some things are trial and error while having fun because I just went in with orange above this yellow but you can see it's kind of looking the same especially since i'm using a light method if you've been subscribed long enough or if you know me in real life you already know how i love color this is my favorite blue in that collection that i purchased and I hope you guys are ignoring my other hand because you can see that's also this shade of blue but I'm not done yet I got a surprise if your product is showing a lot of bubbles or it's dragging like so you need to re-wet your brush another way to avoid that is to add a base coat on top of your cured poly gel before you go in with more colors on top because poly gel needs that base coat to stick to. I was in a rush. I just went on and started applying my poly gel glow in the dark colors on top of my cured poly gel without a base coat. So it's not really sticking to it that well until it's cured of course. But that will make your process a lot easier and it will flow smoother for you. I showed you guys my favorite blue. Now this is my favorite pink in this collection. 
and of course this is too much product to smash and make a light light effect I had to just do something weird or freaky so that's me and I'm just making this random 3d shape and I love it poly gel will leave a sticky tacky layer on top so I'm using alcohol wipes to remove that if you go straight in after curing trying to file it and buff it you're just gonna have a sticky mess it's possible but you don't want to do that if you don't have to I like to file my sides nice and crisp on the side and slightly underneath I don't know why but I don't always use my dust collector if I'm like too far deep in the zone I forget I have it sometimes and I've really been loving the lipstick shape and the moon shape tips so today I'm gonna try to do a slight moon shape after filing you can see I'm left with minimal color but I'm still going in with my buffer because I told you the look I'm going for already when we first started if you try a look like this but you prefer more color then I would suggest you cap it with clear don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it look at that this was my desired effect so you can see it looks like very light and airbrushed don't mind that I left that thick pink right there I wanted it there there was a dip in my nail and I wanted to conceal it really good so I'm gonna go in with matte before I get to the airbrushing my machine is still fairly new but you can see i put some wear and tear on her i got acetone spilled on her and it made her look kind of beat up but we still rocking with it and she still works my baby feel free to watch my airbrush review and tutorial videos that i have and right now i'm just gonna let you know i'm filling this up with part gel polish part acetone and i skipped a step i did polish the underneath part of my nail and i love this color i'm gonna do a review on these next so watch out for that video because i love this brand i love these colors this is only one coat so i'm very excited to show you these subscribe so you will not miss that video my sweet baby just woke up from his nap so if you hear some breathing or something like that or some noise that's him everything is fine here are my airbrush stickers that i'm going to use you don't have to specifically find a spot that sells airbrush stickers you can use any kind of stickers that will easily peel off for you you can also use water-based paints if you like however i don't want to wait for it to dry so i chose gel polish so i could cure it and keep going Now I left this part in just to show you guys if you have too much acetone and not enough pigment what it would look like. Fortunately for me it's going to be okay because of the design and look I'm going for is really freestyling and having fun and this is going to be okay I can use this. Don't be afraid to add more layers too. Just cure in between your layers depending on how dark you want it to look. But know if you add it all at once, you will get a dripped effect. And if you want that, that's cool too. I like it right here. I'm going to leave it there. I told you guys I immediately cleaned my brush out. So to get rid of this excess paint, what better thing to do than give you a heart, baby? I cured quite a bit of polish on this one so it's giving me a little bit of a hard time to take off but that's okay. As you can see it looks like I've sat here and airbrushed all of these different colors when I only use my airbrush machine for one color. Something else I was just playing with this cake glaze clear gel I have I put it on my thumb 
but I did it off camera because if I didn't like it, I was going to take it off. There are no rules when you're creating, okay? It's the most random things with me because reaching in my glitter drawer, one piece of glitter stuck to my thumb and I was like, you know what? I'm leaving that there. That's why y'all didn't see me put that on either. It was an accident turned into a creation. And I low key just got away with the airbrush effect using gel polish, if you're paying attention. So this is my little gel art palette and I got this from a dollar store. I got like three of them. I gave one to my sister and one to my mom and kept one. And now I use it for this. I'm painting in my heart, green heart cherries with this small little nail art brush. Outline and shading really make your artwork pop like crazy. Fight the good fight, the devil is alive. Walk with him in good nights. The weapon inside lives along a good life. Can't dim my light now, nah, that wouldn't look right. Particularly hood tight, give it a good pipe. Can't stick around, hit it, run like shit night. Shine so bright, boy, you just a book like Shine so bright, boy, you hey. Umi said, don't you fuck around. Wow. Umi said, don't you let me down. Down. Umi said, boy, babe, watch your crown. Now. Umi said, let the tongue stop. Beat steady, knock, knock, middle 
love to stay, you got the whole club rockin'. Right, nigga, you can hate, but your bitch stay to watch. Watch, bitch, you can't do it on the dick, she ain't poppin'. poppin'. We ball poppin', you cop blockin'. Block. Told the girl you rap, but your CD flop. Block. Say you get money, man, we ain't seen nothing. No. Your girl is persistent, she ain't stoppin'. I was gonna make these letters like look like bricks, but I didn't like them. I know it's probably annoying watching me paint with uh, the acrylic powder residue still on there without moving it out the way, cleaning it up, but don't do what I do. <laughs> Everything isn't always perfect. Look at our mess zoomed out. Now let's top coat everything. I'm going to keep a few details shiny, but everything else is going to be matte. I keep showing the bottom of my nails. I'm obsessed. I really love the design. The outcome is so cute. And I'm using a liner brush to make those shiny details that I wanted to keep. With all of the mistakes so-called and trial and error, it came together beautifully. I really do love this look. And yes, I am going to oil my cuticles. With my Heartwork House Glitter Roll-On Scented Oil. And here is the finished look. I'm glad you guys stuck around. I appreciate all of the views. I hope you guys like this look as much as I do.